three things that we need to think about, three key steps that we need to think about when resolving conflict. Number one, people need to have the opportunity to tell their stories. In other words, um, conflict kind of sits inside of an individual. It's the way they talk to themselves about what it is that's going on. And so uh, people need the opportunity to share those stories to get that uh, 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 internal conversation out, to put it on audible, to share the information. And it's so important for us to listen and hear the stories uh, of each other when we're in that situation. So telling of the stories, getting the facts out on the table, making people aware of what our perspective is. The second piece, and, and this is where people often kind of um, fall down. Conflict is kind of an emotional state. Um, it's the way we um, uh, hold a situation. It's the energy attached to it. It's the, it's, it, it. it's the level of intensity our feelings are about a situation. And what people often do is, because people are so um, conflict averse, they don't like to deal with that aspect of the conflict. Uh, but the challenge is that if they don't, then that conflict still exists. You know, you can reach some compromise agreement, but if the energy of the conflict, if the anger and the emotion is still behind, um, you haven't resolved it at all. So it's critical for people to actually make sure they articulate uh, the emotion, uh, not for the purpose of just venting, but for the purpose of being able to move beyond it, to get it up and out and to move beyond it. So dealing with emotion, the emotional aspect of the conflict is a critical thing. And the third piece of, of dealing with conflict situations is creating a new agreement. I talked about agreement before as kind of a critical first step in creating um, any new good collaboration. Well, the last step of resolving any conflict is what is our new agreement? How are we going to redefine our relationship or the actions we're going to take moving forward? So those are the three key elements of dealing with any conflict, be it internal, inside of an organization, or with external partners. Uh, getting the facts out or telling stories, dealing with the emotions or making sure we're current and complete, and the third one is crafting a good new agreement that defines the relationship.